Hello ladies. Today we're talking about weight gain in midlife. It is no joke, man. You know, you probably were cruising along in your 20s and 30s, kind of eating whatever you wanted to, you exercised, you didn't, and you may have stayed about the same weight. You may have fluctuated a bit, but dang, as soon as you turn 40, all bets are off. Like, what happened there? Everything changed. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is a lot of things going in and onto our bodies after we turn 40. A lot of different changes that are happening that all affect our weight. Like what? We have a lot of hormone fluctuations. Our estrogen and progesterone start dropping and dropping in relationship to each other, which causes a whole slew of issues. We become more insulin resistant meaning we can't process the sugars we're consuming as well anymore. And we have lower digestive enzymes, which means the food we are eating, we're having a harder time breaking down. We're not getting those nutrients into our bodies. There's also a loss of muscle mass that occurs. And when we have less, less muscle, we burn less calories. Same for decreased metabolism. When our metabolism is slower, which it is after we turn 40, we don't burn as much calories. We don't sleep as well. We're a little more stressed. We have higher cortisol. All of these things can affect our weight. I have good news. There are some things we can do, and I'm gonna start with just two things. Two things that have to do with what you're putting in your mouth. Now, you probably know food is the fuel for your body. And if you don't remember that, I'm gonna just give you a little tip here. Body's like a car, and the gas that you put in your car is your food. If you're gonna put bad gas in your body, you're going to feel it. And how do you feel it? Slow, sluggish energy, weight gain, brain fog, so you definitely want to make sure you're feeling good after you eat a meal. If you eat a meal and then need a nap right after, your food's not doing what it's designed to do, which is give you energy, give you nutrients, make you feel good, get you through the day. So the thing is, as I mentioned, as we get older, we lose digestive enzymes, our hormones decrease, insulin sensitivity is off and it's harder to break down food which means it's easier for us to gain weight i know we used to be able to get away with so much more i hear so many of my clients saying i used to be able to eat this and now i can't and some people are swinging wide from yeah they were doing all the sweets and some people are saying hey i'm eating really healthy food quote healthy food, everyone's definition is going to be slightly different based on their own DNA and body. But people are frustrated. I'm eating healthy food, why am I gaining weight? Well, if I could give you just one thing, I know I told you I was gonna give you two things today, but if I gave you one thing to do for your health as a woman over 40, as, or as honestly as any human being on the planet, but especially as a woman over 40 because of all of our unique needs, be to drop sugar. Yeah, sugar. Refined sugar is not your friend. I know, it seems like it should be your friend because it tastes so good, but it is a drug. It is eight times more addictive than cocaine or heroin. Eight times. It hits the same addictive tendency uh, piece of your brain. So, you can't fight that. That is just hard. The dopamine uh, producing pleasure point in your brain also gets hit when you eat sugar. It also, sugar makes you age faster, which is a bummer. Because when blood sugar is raised, it blocks the production of stem cells and that lowers your ability to repair organs. It also damages your skin. It binds to collagen. And granted, we have some elasticity issues as we get older, but sugar just increases that. It just it gives you uh, more wrinkles. 
So you probably know, yeah, Kelly, I know sugar's not good for me. I don't eat sweets or cookies or cakes, or maybe you do, and maybe you don't think it's that big of a deal. But I wanna tell you about something else. It's your number two, but it's kind of tied to number one. Sugar, not your friend. Number two, as a woman over 40, we have a really hard time with carbs, our beloved carbs. You know, refined carbs are definitely what you want to avoid. Carbs turn to sugar. So the two are related. I could just say don't eat sugar. and You might just think, well, I don't eat cookies and I don't eat cakes, so this doesn't apply to me. But your carbs will turn to sugar. And granted, there are many different kinds of carbs. And what I'm most concerned about are the refined carbs. But carbs spike your blood sugar no matter what. It's what it happens. And that's okay. If your, your system is working well, you can process the carbs. But refined carbs are always going to be more difficult for your body. And as I said, the older we get, the more insulin resistant we get. And when we're insulin resistant, we get excess fat around our belly. So let's do a little uh, primer here on what happens when we eat food. And I'm gonna talk about carbs in particular. So when we eat carbs, it gets uh, translated into, converted into glucose in the body. Insulin comes, takes the glucose, tries to put it into our cells so we can use it for energy later whenever we need it. It is a fabulous, fabulous plan until we eat too many carbs or we have too much sugar going on in our body. And when that happens, they have excess insulin floating around your blood. With the excess insulin, nowhere to go. It can't put the glucose anywhere because all the cells are either full or insulin just doesn't hear the call of the glucose anymore. So then you have this excess food in your blood and that turns to fat. Hence, you really want to watch your sugar intake. You want to watch your carb intake. These things will turn to fat in the body if you're not able to process it. And when you have too much of it in your body, you can't get through it all. You can't digest it. And when the insulin is raised like this, it is not possible to lose weight. It just isn't, which is sad. So when insulin is raised, you can't lose weight. You want to keep that insulin level low. So here's the other crazy thing about what happens to uh, us women, we women after we turn 40. I told you we become more insulin resistant. We have these imbalanced hormones. These hormones are fluctuating and that causes sugar and carb cravings, which is really mean, right? That's not a, that's not a really nice cycle we have going on there when we're craving the thing that puts us back in this loop. Like I said, it's an addiction, but as soon as we start pulling it out, cravings can start to go away. So the big offenders, bread, pasta, those are big blood sugar spikers. And then that leads to the excess insulin and that can lead to the body fat. And all of this just makes your blood sugar unstable. You don't want your blood sugar unstable. I'm sure you know what that feels like. You feel a little frenetic, your energy, you're up, you're down. You're just not feeling well. So what to do instead, you take the sugar and those processed refined carbs out and you replace them with the trifecta, the healthy trifecta. Healthy fat, healthy protein, and fiber. Fat, fiber, and protein. Those are the three to keep your blood sugar stable. When I say healthy fat, you know, I women, I was one of them. I did the I can't believe it's not butter stuff because I thought fat was the enemy. But it turns out only certain fat is the enemy. And good fat, which is can be ghee, which is clarified butter, avocado, nuts, red meat. If you're eating meat, make sure it's well sourced. And these are healthy fats and these are really good for your body. They are hormone, they help build your hormones and they also help you feel full. 
Doesn't there is nothing worse when you're eating a meal, you finished a meal, and about 10 minutes later, you're hungry or you want something more? Fat is one of those things that's gonna help you feel full, stay full. Healthy fat, of course. Protein. Another thing that happens to us ladies uh, over 40, our protein needs go up. I have a couple clients who don't eat enough, period. They don't eat enough protein, and that's gonna also cause trouble. It's not gonna make you feel full, and you're gonna wanna eat again. My goal is to always get people to eat two to three meals. Some people can do the fasting thing, some people can do one meal. Uh, ladies have a little more difficult time with that, but m max three meals, because when you're eating a balanced three meals, you don't need to snack in between, because that snacking in between keeps the blood sugar up and down, up and down, up and down, and doesn't allow you to burn through the fat. So, fat, fiber, protein. And when I say fiber, those are healthy carbs. You can get a lot of healthy carbs from green vegetables, from sweet potatoes, broccoli. Yeah, you need, you need some carbs for energy, but just make sure they're not super processed, refined, because that's blood sugar up, that's the blood sugar down, and causes all the other issues. So you're gonna remember those three, fat, fiber, protein. You're not gonna be afraid of fat. Your brain, the majority of your brain is made of fat. Feed it what it's made of. You're gonna try not to snack because you're gonna have these three great meals that you're not going to need to snack. And you're gonna cut out the sugar and the processed food, those refined carbs. Not only is that gonna change your weight, that's gonna reduce inflammation in the body. A lot of the ladies I work with have a lot of inflammation in their body, and that can come from sugars, from these things, from the spiking of the blood sugar. And you know what the other thing is about when you take the sugars and the carbs out, the processed carbs, is that you replace them with better nutrients. So you're gonna eat more greens, you're gonna eat more vegetables, and those are nature's vitamins. Those are the things that give you energy so that when you eat, you can be like, yes, I'm ready, I feel good. And another thing to remember is just to drink clean, filtered water. I don't always recommend drinking the water during your meal because you don't wanna dilute those digestive juices even more. But throughout the day, you want that just to keep everything filtered, to stay hydrated, keep your skin, glowing. So I hope you found this helpful, the sugar and the carbs. If you want more information on this, I actually have a free avoiding midlife weight gain guide. So if you want that, just type me below or send me a message and I'll get you a link to that. And I will see you soon. Bye.